Hi, boys and girls. I hope you're having a good Tuesday so far. Let's begin Bible class today by talking about what we learned about yesterday. Remember yesterday, we introduced a new character. Do you remember what his name was? Yeah, his name was Martin Luther. We learned about the beginning of his story. We learned how he was baptized. So he was a child of God from the beginning. And as he grew up, he loved to sing, he loved to read books, and he went to live with a lady who, so that he didn't have to walk so far to school. Remember, we put those stickers on our sheet to show Mrs. Cotta, that lady. And we also learned about how he went to the library. He saw a book that was chained to the desk, and that book was the Bible, the Word of God. And he started to read that. And he was starting to read about how God is love, not like what everyone had been teaching. People had been teaching that God is an angry God and he only wants to punish us. And whenever something bad is happening, it's that God is punishing you. But when something bad happens, it doesn't mean that God is punishing you. It just means that that was a part of sin and a part of God's plan at that time. We're going to keep looking at Martin Luther's story today, and then we're going to do another page in our worksheet. So here's the next part of Martin Luther's story. He was on his way home from school one day. Remember, we had to walk, he had to walk everywhere. There were cars at that time. And this is one of those times where something bad happened, and Martin Luther thought that God was punishing him. But really, it wasn't God punishing him. Here's what happened. He was walking home from school one day, and all of a sudden, he was by himself. He was all by himself. All of a sudden, a large, scary thunderstorm started rolling in. And he was in the middle of nowhere. And there was so much lightning and thunder that he was really scared. He thought that he would almost die and get struck by lightning. And he went, ran to this tree, he fell down on his knees, and he said, St. Anne, if you save me from this storm, I will dedicate my whole life to the church. I will become a monk if you save me from this storm. Now, the person that he prayed to, did you hear what I said? He said, St. Anne. He wasn't praying to God. He was praying to a person who had already died. And in that, in that time, people did that a lot. People prayed to saints, to people who had already died. But saints actually cannot hear our prayers, right? Only God can hear our prayers. So when the storm finally rolled out and Martin Luther was safe again, he thought that it was Saint Anne that w that kept him safe. But really, God kept him safe, right? People do not have power when they die, but God can protect us and keep us safe, right? So Martin Luther, he wanted to keep his promise. He went and he became a monk. Now, I said monk before. Let's talk about what a monk is. A monk is someone who lives at the church, leaves their family behind, leaves their whole family and life behind, and does everything for the church. And Martin Luther did this because he thought that God would love him a little bit more if he did this. He thought that he would forgive a little bit more of his sins if he dedicated his whole life to the church. But the truth is, boys and girls, he didn't realize at that time yet that really the only thing that saves us is Jesus, what Jesus already did. Not what we can do to, for the church, not dedicating our lives. It's what Jesus already did that saves us from our sins, not whatever we do at, here on, on earth, right? And that is what Martin Luther would learn pretty soon as he started reading the Bible more and more. 
as he would start studying the Bible himself in the church, he would realize that actually it is Jesus that forgives my sins. It's not, God isn't an angry God. He doesn't hate me. He doesn't want me to die and go to hell. He wants me to trust in Jesus and to read the Bible and go to heaven with him one day, right? That's true for us too, just like it was for Martin Luther. And boys and girls, that is the next part of our story that we're going to stop today. We learned about how Martin Luther was really scared in a storm and he prayed to a saint. He didn't pray to God. He trusted in something else, but soon he would learn to trust in God instead of saints and people that can't really help us. So you can grab your Martin Luther book and you can open it up to the page after page two. We're going to do page three for today. And there's no stickers for today, but there is some drawing that we get to do. Let's look at this page. It says at the top, God helps Martin. And we see that at the beginning, at, at the top here, Martin is bowing down, like I said before, he was underneath that tree and he said, Saint Anne, if you save me from the storm, I'll, I promise to become a monk. I promise to live in the church. And he did end up keeping that promise, but it was really God that protects him, right? God helps Martin. Just like God helps us. God helps us too in our times of trouble too, right? These clouds we are going to get to fill in with things that we're scared of, that we that bother us. Maybe we've never been caught in a terrible storm like this, like Martin Luther. But sometimes we are scared too, right? And that is going to be something that we fill in today. You're going to fill in three things. And I'll show you my example. And you don't have to, I don't want you to draw what I draw. I want you to draw what applies for you, what is true for you. Here, I'll show you what I mean. The first one says, sometimes I worry about blank. So in this cloud, in these two clouds, you're going to draw, in this cloud, you're going to draw what you worry about sometimes. And then if you have a grown-up next to you that's able to help you, you can have them write the word of what it is next to in that second cloud. Or you can just draw it. It's up to you. But here's what I'm going to draw for sometimes I worry about. Sometimes I worry about money. So I wrote a dollar sign. That's my drawing. And then I wrote the word money next to there. But we really shouldn't worry about money, right? Because God always provides for us. But Sometimes we worry about things and we can go to God about it, right? That is going to be my first one. But you don't have to draw money. You can draw whatever you want that you worry about. Here's my next one. It says, blank, scare me. So what scares me? Here's what I'm going to draw. Sometimes. I drew a person just by themselves and I wrote being alone scares me. Like sometimes you're alone in your house and you don't have anyone by you. Sometimes that happens to me and sometimes I get scared. But I know that God is always there for me too, even when I don't have any people around me, right? God is always there for me just like God is there for you. So you don't have to draw just, you don't have to draw being alone. You can draw whatever scares you. The last one says, I don't like to think about blank. So in the first cloud, you can draw it. And then if you have someone that can write it for you, you can write it the word there too. Here's what I'm going to draw for what I don't like to think about. I don't like to think about spiders or creepy bugs, but we know that God protects us even from the little things, right? Even from the little things that bother us, God is there for us. And so you don't have to draw a spider. Maybe you are scared of spiders, but whatever bothers you and you're scared of, I would like you to draw in those clouds. 
And then you can have your grown up take a picture of page three for you with your pictures that you draw in. And I would like you to take a picture of that and upload it to the religion folder so that we can see that you followed along today. Thank you boys and girls for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed the next part of Martin Luther and how that day that changed his life where, when he was so scared. We're gonna learn soon about how Martin Luther is gonna stand up for the truth and stand up for the Bible. And that is just what God wants us to do too. So have a good rest of your work today, boys and girls.